One of the most important topics in design is something called a Kano diagram. A, a Kano diagram for customer satisfaction is a way of understanding the characteristics of a new product that are most important to the customer and characterizing those. So basically this diagram right here that has along the what we call the x-axis is typically the product function and along the y-axis is the degree that the customer is satisfied. So along the y-axis here if, if you're down the bottom the customer is disgusted along the top they're delighted. Again on, on the x-axis on the left side if it's absent then um, this is the degree that's absent or the degree that it's fully implemented. And what Kano said was that all uh, features of a, of a product are not created equal. The first thing is that you've got basic characteristics. And basic characteristics are those that the customer expected to be part of the design. They expected it to be part of the product. So if it's not there, if it's absent, they're disgusted. Even if it's completely implemented, they're only neutral. So if you're thinking about uh, what's a basic characteristic, you can imagine on, say, a bicycle, a basic characteristic would be that the bicycle has brakes. People expect a bike to have brakes and that the brakes will function to some degree of performance. If it doesn't then and it's absent, they're disgusted. Even if it has brakes, all bikes have brakes, so um, they're just neutral. The next is called a performance characteristic. Performance characteristics are those performance characteristics are those that the better they're done, the happier people are. So if you think about a performance characteristic again from a, a bicycle standpoint, typically uh, people that are concerned about performance bikes think about weight. They're always looking to minimize the weight. So the lighter weight, the happier people are. So the lighter they can get it, the happier people are. If it's a very heavy bike, they're disgusted. If it's a very light bike, they're um, happier. The last thing are called excitement characteristics or wow characteristics. Wow characteristics are those that the customer didn't expect to be there. But if, there, if that characteristic is there, that's what actually makes them choose one product over another. So for example, on a wow characteristic on a bike might be, say, having a certain number of speeds. And bikes these days, you know, years ago, bikes had, say, 18 speeds when first mountain bikes came out. The first bike, that came, the manufacturer that came out with 21 speeds was a wow characteristic. That stood out amongst all the other bikes. So having 21 speeds, stood out amongst all the other 18-speed bikes. Now what happens over time, of course, is that the competition starts to look at these things, and so the competitor says, oh, well, we're going to come out with 21 speeds. So it, this tends to be a moving target. And what happens over time is that wow characteristics then become performance characteristics and then become basic characteristics. So when 21 speeds came out after they were out a while, if you didn't have 21 speeds, then no one would even consider your bike. These days, they're now up to about 27 speeds. I don't know if they've gotten up to 30 speeds on a bike. And the reason is because they keep moving that wow characteristic out. This can be applied to really anything that you're working on, not just physical products. If you think about, say, your job, if you think about what you have to do for your job, you have basic responsibilities in order to make your boss happy. If you do those and you do them well, you don't expect to get a pat on the head from your boss. Then you have performance activities, things that if you do better, you expect to get recognized and that your boss would be happier with you. Then you should have some wow activities in your job. This is the stuff that gets you recognized, that makes you stand out. And so you can apply this to not just about products, but pretty much to anything that you're dealing with in your lives. And so thinking about the basic, the performance, and the wow characteristics are, is really applicable 
to a lot of different things you do, but it's especially applicable to product design. 